Hey guys, it's Laura. I have a real quick thought for you. I know so many of you are out there and you're sitting there thinking, man, I want to take my business from good to great. This is the year. You want to see your numbers grow month after month and I want that for you too. So I want to inspire you to do one thing. I want you to not rely on anyone else, not their actions, not their time, I want you to grab the bull by the horns and I want you to own it this year. And the way I want you to start is I want you to sit and I want you to think. Number one, if you don't have a recruit, you need to find one. It's not that hard to find somebody that needs something fun to do on the side or maybe somebody that needs extra cash. This time of year is one of those times where everybody's feeling guilty about what they're spending and uh, what's coming in. So they know that they need a little bit extra. This is the perfect time. Now, I want you to think back of the things that either your sponsor or your director did that inspired you. Maybe it was seeing your name and lights on Facebook, or maybe you just loved getting that little postcard in the mail. Maybe you just needed to get that text every now and then that said, way to go, your sales are amazing. I want you to think of the three or four things that you feel like motivated you the most. Or if you had a yucky sponsor and a yucky director that did not recognize you much, then maybe you can be that difference with your team. You know what it would have been like to get something amazing. Well, be that person. No matter if you have one person or if you have 23, it's never too late to say way to go or congratulations. You can get in your performance tab and you can see how your team is doing and you can see how close they are to their next promotion or maybe you can see that they got a new recruit and you can congratulate somebody for almost anything. Effort is the big thing. If you know they're working it, that deserves a pat on the back. You can do that in a multitude of ways. I encourage you to not let your success be dependent on what your director does for your team or what maybe your sponsor does. What if they don't do anything and you don't succeed because you were waiting around for someone else to do something that you could have been doing all along? So that is my challenge for you. It doesn't take a whole bunch of people in your team for you to start acting like a leader. You can start with one person and make a world of difference this coming year. I want to give you the best of luck. Keep in touch with me. I'm excited about what's coming for all of our businesses this year. Talk to you soon. Bye.